Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. We're back here today to continue one of our favorite video series, that is Reclaimed Wood. We're going to be making a beautiful tea light candle holder. Um, so if you know somebody that loves tea light candles like I do, this would be a great gift for them. Uh, we do have, like Brian said, some reclaimed wood. These are actually planks off of a pallet. We've got some walnut and some maple. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, it's time for step one in this project, and it's the same as the rest of our reclaimed wood projects, and that is to plane the wood. Now, these boards come off of a pallet, so they're a little twisted, they're wedge-shaped. Now, we're going to have to use our planer sled to get one good face on these, so we can run it through on that face and get both faces parallel. Now, if you want to know how to build this planer sled, it will come in really handy, trust me. Click right here, and you can watch that video. So, we'll go ahead and get started shimming these up and get them all flattened out. Alright, for the next part of our project, we are going to rip down the edges of these boards on the table saw. Now with pallet wood, you never know what you're going to get, and we really love for this to be three inches in width, it would uh, leave a lot of room on each side of the candle, make it nice and, and even. But if we can't get three inches, because this is really close, this is like three and a sixteenth, so we're going to do the best we can. It might be a little less than three inches, that's okay too, um, but we're going to rip these down, see what we get. They are going to be alternating in a pattern of maple, walnut, maple, walnut. We've got an extra board of walnut just to see which one we like the best. We really want um, the contrast of, you know, light to dark. So we're going to see what we can come up with and let's go ahead and get to work. Now that we have cut our boards to width, we're going to cut them to length. And we're going to house four tea lights in this candle holder. So we're going to evenly space those and we're going to need 10 inch boards. So we're going to flush up the end of each board, flip them over, and cut them to 10 inches. All right, now we have all of our boards cut to their length and width. The next step, we're going to have to mark out on this top board where each of these candles are going to go. We're going to try to space them equally from the outside of each edge and then equally between each candle in between that. Now this is a pretty basic design. You can see we've got four boards. They're just stacked in an alternating pattern. Um, once we get the holes cut in this top piece, we're going to glue everything together and clamp it and let it dry. Um, you could take it a step further if you wanted. Once that dried, you could cut it, flip it. You know, you wouldn't be able to do the holes first, but you could definitely get a little bit more advanced with your pattern. We just wanted to do something a little bit more easy and basic for the beginning woodworker. Now, the easiest way to do this would be to glue all of these boards together, then drill inch and a half holes with an inch and a half Forstner bit. But at the current time, we do not have an inch and a half Forstner bit. So what we're going to have to do is mark them all out on this top board. Then we'll use an inch and a half hole saw and we'll drill our holes in this top board. Then we'll glue it all together with the holes already there. Where there's a will, there's a way. As you can see, we now have our four holes drilled for our four tea lights, and we've checked them, did a little test run, and they fit really nicely. Now it is time to assemble. We're going to be doing that with some tight bond, too. We've got some calls here. It's just pieces of plywood wrapped in plastic wrap to keep glue from, you know, gluing wood to wood. 
and we'll be holding it all together with some F-style clamps. So here we go. All right, now all of our boards are glued together. I'm here at the table saw. I'm just going to rip a hair off of each side of this and square off the ends. After that, it'll be time to sand and finish. All right, we're in the home stretch. We have our tea light candle holder cut out just the way we want it. So we're going to sand it with some 120 grit and finish up with some Danish oil. I think that I am 100% correct in saying that this is the most satisfying part of any woodworking project, and that is the finish. We're going to get to see the grain pop. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. All right, we are using one of our favorite things. I promise they're not a sponsor. This is Watco Danish Oil. I've said before, it's super easy to use, and it really doesn't, um, if you get the natural, which is what we're using today, it doesn't mess with um, the color of the wood. You can get some different colors of Watco Danish oil. We've not tried them, but we just, we really like it in natural. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Look how gorgeous that is. There you have it. It's another great project made out of reclaimed wood. We used pallet wood to make this tea light candle holder. We've got uh, maple and walnut that we found on some pallets. And you can customize this however you want. Use whatever kind of wood you want. You can take this over to the router, put some chamfers or roundovers on it. We chose to just do a simple sand over by hand and soften those edges and corners. It turned out pretty nice, I think. I really love this. This would make a great gift. Um, I, I think I just want to keep it. I really don't want to give this one away. But you know, if you're looking to make money woodworking, this would be a simple project to get started and really easy to batch out. Um, I just, I really, really love it. If you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Never miss an episode of Wood Songs by Russell. We're also on Facebook, so meet us over there, and at www.woodsongsbyrussell.com. Thanks again for joining us today. Happy woodworking!